Good morning, brothers and sisters. And in a special way, we greet all those who are with us through our live streaming, wherever are you in the world. And please be assured of our prayers. We are of one mind and heart in this celebration of the Holy Eucharist. If there is one word that would summarize the message of our readings today, it is this, responsibility. Can we say that again? Comment that in, responsibility. Sometimes, this certain passage from the Gospel according to Matthew is being cited by some people who wants to invoke the concept of separation of church and state. But unfortunately, during the time when this gospel was written, there is no such thing or concept as separation of church and state. So we cannot invoke this passage to justify our claims for the separation of, of church and state. But for the sake of argument, let us understand and try to, to let us try to understand what that separation of church and state means. Of course, even if you will ask those who are experts of the law of the land in the Philippines, separation of church is, and state is not absolute. Kapag po sinabi natin pagkakahiwalay ng pamahalaan at ng simbahan, hindi po ito absolute. At yan po ay kitang-kita natin sa panahon ng pandemya. Ang simbahan sumunod sa patakaran ng IATF. Kung merong separation of church and state, eh de ibig sabihin, pwedeng ang simbahan wag sumunod sa IATF. But no, because IATF wants the coronavirus to be controlled and it is for the welfare of everyone, it is for the common good, and then the church will have to follow. Church, the separation of church and state is not absolute. And so likewise, the church reserves the right to speak in terms of morality, especially in, in issues concerning corruption and the evils in society. Kailangang magsalita ng simbahan sa mga pagkakataon na ang pamahalaan ay hindi na ginagampanan ang kanyang tungkulin na aayon sa kanyang sinumpaan o sa kanyang dahilan ng pag-iral. Hindi ibig sabihin nakikialam ang pamahalaan sa simbahan kapag ka siya, pagka sinusunod natin ang patakaran ng IATF. At kapag naman nakikinig ang pamahalaan sa mga patnubay na ibinibigay ng simbahan, hindi ibig sabihin pinakikialaman ng simbahan ang pamahalaan. Is that clear to everyone? So, separation of church and state is not absolute. Rather, what is absolute is our responsibility towards God and towards our nation. I want you to remember this. Kung sinasabi mong mabuting kristyano ka, dapat mabuti ka rin mamamayang Pilipino. Ang mabuting kristyano ay mabuting mamamayan ng bansang ito. Ang ating responsibilidad sa ating bansa ay sumunod sa mga batas, lalo na't alam nating ito'y nakabubuti para sa at, para sa lahat. It is for the sake of common good that we follow the law of the land and our government. Yun ang palaging hindi dapat mawala sa ating pananaw. It is our responsibility to promote the common good. At isang pamamaraan nun ay ang pagsunod sa pamahalaan. Pero, yung mga nasa pamahalaan, dapat din palagi nilang nasa isip, hindi ang sariling kapakanan, kundi ang common good rin. Those who are in positions of power or authority in the government should always be accountable, should always be responsible for the common good. That is the reason why we demand from them. That is the reason why we ask them, where are these funds? We question the system. We question the immoralities. We question the corruption. It is not to intervene with their power, but it is to remind them that they have a responsibility not only for the few, 
but for the common good. Can we say that again? Responsibility. Authority is a God-given responsibility. And that is what we have heard in the first reading today. Even if Cyrus is a Persian king, meaning he is pagan, and according to the first reading, he, he doesn't know, he doesn't even know God. Hindi niya kilala ang Diyos, siya'y isang pagano. Yet, God used Cyrus for the welfare of his chosen people, Israel. Kahit pong isang paganong leader, kayang gamitin ng Diyos para mapangalagaan ang kabutihan ng mga nilikha niyang mga tao. And for this reason, again, we have the responsibility to cooperate for the sake of the common good. But if our leaders does not safeguard the common good of all, then we also reserve the right to criticize and to remind them that they have to be responsible for the common good. Why? Because all is authority is a God-given responsibility. Can we say that again? All authority is a God-given responsibility. Nakikihati lang tayo sa kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Kaya kahit saan man tayong lugar na naroroon, this is the calling of God. Render to Caesar what is to Caesar's and render to God what belongs to God. And that means we have a responsibility towards the nation. We have a responsibility towards the church and towards God. And if we sum it up all, what is our responsibility to safeguard the common good of all? Ang pangalagaan, ang ikabubuti ng lahat ng tao. Kaya nga po kahit sana sa ating mga bahay, kahit sabihin mong anak ka, kahit sabihin mong magulang ka, lahat tayo may responsibilidad. Hindi mo po pwedeng sabihin na magulang ako, magulang lang ako. Kaya yung pag-aaral ng alak ko, wala na akong pakialam dyan. Dapat yung mga teachers na yan. That's a very sad reality nowadays. Parents are demanding so much from the teachers. Di ba responsibilidad nyo na ayusin yung pag-aaral ng mga anak namin? Kaya nga namin kayo binabayaran, di ba? Paalala, ang binayaran mo yung matrikula, hindi yung pagkataon ng teacher. You don't have the right to malign our teachers dahil kung nahihirapan kayo sa bagong setup, nahihirapan din sila. And for all you know, my dear parents, it is your primary responsibility to educate your children, not the schools. We are the first teachers of our children, lest we forget. At minamahal kong mga kabataan na nakikinig ngayon, my dear students, it is your primary responsibility to learn. So hanggat kaya mong sagutan na ng mga modules, pag-aralan mo at sagutan mo, makinig ka sa online class. Huwag mong sabayan ng gaming. It is your primary responsibility to learn and to study. Huwag mong ipasa sa magulang mo ang responsibilidad. At sana, ganyan din ang mga namamahala sa pamahalaan at sa simbahan. Huwag nating ipasa sa iba yung responsibilidad na dapat ay sa atin. Kapag ka mayroong tinuligsa na hindi maganda tungkol sa namumuno, ibabaling sa ibang tao. Ituturo yung ibang tao. Akaya yan nagsasalita kasi kalaban natin yan. Hindi ba pwedeng tingnan muna din natin ang ating sarili? Baka nga may mali ako. Baka nga may responsibilidad ako na hindi nagampanan. Baka yung sinasabi nila ay binibigay sa akin at pinararating sa akin upang matauhan ako sa isang responsibilidad na hindi ko nagawa. My dear brothers and sisters, in this time of pandemic, we have to be responsible. Responsibility is not just a duty. Responsibility is charity. Let me repeat that. In this time of pandemic, being responsible is being charitable. Kapag responsable ka, mayroon kang malasakit at pagmamahal sa iyong kapwa. Hindi porket may katulong, hindi porket may magulang, 
sila na ang maglilinis, sila na ang maglalaba, sila na ang magwawalis, sila pa rin ang maghuhugas ng pinggan. Ikaw ang gumamit, ikaw ang maghugas. Responsibilidad mo yan. At yan ang paraan mo ng pagmamahal. At kapag ginagampanan mo ang responsibilidad mo, hindi ka lang nagmamahal, pinararangalan mo ang Diyos na nagbigay sa iyo ng responsibilidad na makatulong para sa pangangalaga ng kapakanan ng ating kapwa. Every time you dread to wash the dishes, remember what Mother Teresa said. Kapag kaayaw mo nang magugas ng pinggan at tinatamad ka, sabi, alalahanin mo ang sinabi ni Mother Teresa. Tanong nyo sa akin, ano? Ask me what? Wash the dishes not because they are dirty. Wash them because you love the next person who will use it. Maghugas ka ng pinggan hindi dahil marumi yung pinggan. Maghugas ka ng pinggan dahil mahal mo yung susunod na gamit na gagamit nito. Ibigay sa sesar ang sa sesar. Ibigay sa Diyos ang para sa Diyos. Magbayad ng buwis, sumunod sa patakaran. Hindi dahil mayroon lamang tayong obligasyon na dapat gampanan, kundi dahil mayroon tayong kapakanan ng mas nakararami na dapat pangalagaan. It is because of common good that we have to respect our government and our leaders. It is through being responsible that we become charitable. Amen.